in the world of entertainment, the actor Hugh O'Brien left an indelible mark. Born on April 19, 1925, in Rochester, New York, O'Brien's interest in acting began at a young age. After serving in the Navy during World War II, he pursued a career in Hollywood. O'Brien's breakout role came in 1955 when he starred as Wyatt Earp in the television show The Life and Legend of Wyatt Earp. The show was a hit, running for six seasons and cementing O'Brien's status as a leading man. Throughout his career, O'Brien appeared in numerous films and television shows, including The Shootist with John Wayne and Ambush at Cimarron Pass. He also took on roles in theater productions, showcasing his versatility as an actor. In addition to his work in entertainment, O'Brien was also known for his philanthropy. He founded the Hugh O'Brien Youth Leadership Foundation, which provides leadership development opportunities for high school sophomores. Throughout his life, O'Brien received numerous accolades for his contributions to the entertainment industry and his philanthropic efforts. He passed away on September 5, 2016, leaving behind a legacy that continues to inspire and impact others. Do you remember when you first encountered the work of actor Hugh O'Brien? Maybe it was during his run as Wyatt Earp in the popular TV show The Life and Legend of Wyatt Earp, which aired from 1955 to 1961. Or perhaps it was in one of the many films or stage productions he appeared in over his long career. We'd love to hear about your experiences and memories of this classic star. Did you have a favorite performance of his? Or maybe you had the chance to meet him in person. Whatever your story may be, we'd love to hear it in the comments below. As we delve into the life and career of this talented actor, you can expect to learn many interesting facts. From his humble beginnings to his rise to fame, there are sure to be funny, shocking, and even sad moments along the way. So be sure to keep watching to learn more about the actor known simply as Hugh O'Brien. Furthermore, delving into the background of actor reveals a family upbringing that played a pivotal role in shaping his early influences. Actor was exposed to the world of entertainment from a young age with supportive parents who encouraged his passion for acting. Key influences and mentors during his formative years provided guidance and inspiration, nurturing his talent and paving the way for his future success in the industry. The actor, known for his work in both film and television, made a significant impact in the industry during his era and beyond. His career took off in the 1950s when he landed the lead role in the popular TV show The Life and Legend of Wyatt Earp. This show not only brought him fame, but also revolutionized the Western genre on television. In the film industry, the actor delivered a powerful performance in the classic movie The Shootist alongside legendary actor John Wayne. This role showcased his versatility and solidified his status as a respected actor in Hollywood. The actor's contribution to the industry extends beyond his on-screen work. He established the Hugh O'Brien Youth Leadership Foundation, which has inspired and developed young leaders for over six decades. This organization has had a profound impact on countless young people and is a testament to the actor's commitment to giving back to the community. Throughout his career, the actor has left an indelible mark on the film industry and continues to influence it through his leadership foundation. His legacy lives on inspiring future generations of actors and leaders alike. Subsequently, actor's journey into the world of acting was ignited by a pivotal moment or period that sparked his creative passion. Whether it was a childhood play, a memorable performance he witnessed, or a transformative experience on stage, there was a defining moment that fueled actor's desire to pursue a career in the craft. These early encounters with storytelling and performance laid the foundation for his future endeavors in the entertainment industry. The actor's financial success is evident in his varied investments, including stocks, bonds, real estate, bowling alleys, a building equipment firm, a theater in the round, an oil syndicate, and his own television production company. These ventures have paid him well over the years. During a Yuzo tour in Vietnam in the 1960s, the actor became romantically involved with Sandy Duncan, one of the women on the tour. They performed the musical guys and dolls together. President Lyndon Johnson asked the actor to perform the show for the troops after he had performed it at the White House. In the film In Harm's Way, the actor played a U.S. Army Air Corps major. Despite having a lower budget than most movies featuring John Wayne or Kirk Douglas, the film is notable for its depiction of the Pearl Harbor attack. Bombs are shown hitting the water, but no Japanese planes are shown except for stock footage when the actor is on the beach. 
Despite facing numerous obstacles early in his career, Actor demonstrated remarkable resilience and ingenuity in overcoming them. From financial struggles to industry skepticism, he encountered challenges that could have deterred him from pursuing his passion. However, Actor's determination propelled him forward, leading him to find creative solutions to navigate these hurdles. Whether it was taking on odd jobs to support himself or persistently auditioning for roles despite rejection, Actor's unwavering commitment to his craft ultimately enabled him to break through barriers and establish himself in the competitive world of entertainment. After a successful career in acting, the actor, Hugh O'Brien, decided to settle down at the age of 81. He married his longtime girlfriend, Virginia Barbara, in a ceremony described as the wedding to die for at Forest Lawn Memorial Park in Glendale, California, in June 2006. Barbara described her late husband as her favorite cowboy and said she was one lucky cowgirl to have been married to him. O'Brien is survived by his wife, his brother, Don Cramp, and several nieces and nephews. In addition to his acting career, O'Brien was also involved in education and was a guest at the 2012 Memphis Film Festival's A Gathering of Guns for a TV Western Reunion at the Whispering Woods Hotel and Conference Center in Olive Branch. O'Brien's achievements extended beyond the screen. He was elected freshman class president at Los Angeles City College, demonstrating his leadership skills early on. His impact and legacy in the film industry and education continue to be felt and appreciated. Throughout Actor's career, there were pivotal moments that marked significant breakthroughs. Whether it was landing a leading role in a groundbreaking project or receiving critical acclaim for a particular piece of work, these milestones propelled his career to new heights. Peers, critics, and collaborators alike recognized the impact of these achievements, acknowledging Actor's talent and dedication to his craft. From receiving prestigious awards to being praised for his exceptional performances, Actor's journey is defined by these transformative moments that solidified his place in the entertainment industry. After serving as a drill instructor in the Marine Corps, the actor Hugh O'Brien had plans to attend Yale University and study law. However, his path took an unexpected turn when he began working in Los Angeles to save money for a car. He found himself attending rehearsals for a play where he stepped in to read a role when the leading man didn't show up. This opportunity led to a rave review in the Los Angeles Times and the start of his acting career. O'Brien's big break came with a third build starring role in the Ida Lupino directed drama Never Fear in 1950. This marked the beginning of his contract with Universal Pictures. In addition to his acting career, O'Brien was known for his quick draw skills. He was one of the fastest, if not the fastest, quick draw artist actors in Hollywood with a timed fast draw of just 0.8 seconds. But O'Brien's accomplishments extended beyond acting and quick draws. He was also dedicated to inspiring and developing young leaders through his nonprofit organization, the Hugh O'Brien Youth Leadership. The organization has impacted more than 375,000 high school sophomores, encouraging them to think for themselves and become leaders in their communities. The idea for Hobie was born from O'Brien's invitation to visit Dr. Albert Schweitzer at his hospital in Gabon, Africa. After spending nine days working as a volunteer at the hospital, O'Brien was inspired by Schweitzer's philosophy of education and his dedication to service. This experience led O'Brien to found Hobie in 1958 with the mission to inspire and develop young leaders. From his quick draw skills to his impactful leadership organization, O'Brien's legacy continues to resonate with people today. The actor, known for his work in film and television, has always approached his craft with a unique intensity and dedication. He once said, I've always believed that you should never let the audience catch you at it. They should always believe you're the person you're portraying. This commitment to authenticity is evident in every role he takes on. His process begins with thorough research, delving deep into the character's background and motivations. He often meets with experts in related fields to gain a better understanding of the character's profession or lifestyle. For instance, when preparing for a role as a law enforcement officer, he might consult with real-life police officers to learn about their experiences and techniques. Once he has a solid grasp of the character, he focuses on bringing them to life through physicality and vocal delivery. He pays close attention to details such as posture, gait, and speech patterns, striving to make them as authentic as possible. This meticulous approach extends to his work in front of the camera 
where he is known for his ability to deliver powerful performances that feel spontaneous and natural. The actor's personal experiences and worldview often inform his work. Having served in the military, he brings a deep respect for discipline and duty to his roles. He is also known for his advocacy for social justice issues, which has led him to take on roles that shed light on important social issues. In addition to his commitment to authenticity and research, the actor is also known for his versatility. He has played a wide range of characters, from law enforcement officers to politicians to everyday people, always bringing a unique perspective and depth to each role. In the end, the actor's unique approach to his craft is rooted in his belief that acting is a way to explore the human condition and connect with audiences on a deep level. Through his commitment to authenticity, research, and versatility, he has created a body of work that resonates with audiences and leaves a lasting impact. During a performance at the Las Vegas Hilton, actor was introduced by Elvis Presley from the audience, an event captured in the imported live CD release April Fool's Dinner. Actor had a diverse heritage, with German immigrant paternal grandparents and maternal roots in Ohio dating back to the 1600s. Notably, he was among the first celebrities to lead tours of Vietnam at the request of the State Department. Additionally, actor staged and directed a company of guys and dolls which toured Vietnam, Thailand, and Japan for the troops. The actor, Hugh O'Brien, left an indelible mark on the film and television industry. Known for his starring role in the popular 1950s TV show The Life and Legend of Wyatt Earp, O'Brien's portrayal of the famous lawman helped to shape the way westerns were depicted on screen. O'Brien's impact can be seen in the trend of gritty, realistic westerns that followed in the wake of the life and legend of Wyatt Earp. The show's success proved that there was an audience for westerns that went beyond the simple, black and white morality tales that had come before. O'Brien's portrayal of Earp was nuanced and complex, showing that the character was not just a hero, but also a flawed and human individual. Industry experts and those inspired by O'Brien have praised his contributions to the western genre. Film critic Leonard Maltin called O'Brien's performance in the life and legend of Wyatt Earp a breakthrough that helped to define the modern western hero. Director and actor Clint Eastwood, who was inspired by O'Brien's work, has said that O'Brien's portrayal of Earp was a turning point in the way westerns were made. O'Brien's influence can also be seen in the techniques used by actors in westerns. His natural, understated acting style was a departure from the over-the-top performances that had been common in the genre. This more subtle approach to acting helped to make the characters and their motivations more relatable to audiences. In addition to his work in westerns, O'Brien also made significant contributions to the world of theater. He starred in numerous stage productions, including a successful run on Broadway in the play First Love. O'Brien's performances in these plays were praised for their emotional depth and complexity. O'Brien's impact on the film and television industry is still felt today. His work helped to pave the way for more nuanced and realistic storytelling in westerns and beyond. The actors and filmmakers who have followed in his footsteps continue to be inspired by his legacy. After his portrayal of a jazz fan in DOA, the same actor who played the spaced out beatnik at the jazz club transformed into the brave, courageous, and bold Wyatt Earp and Bob, Hope's alias Jesse James in 1959. This actor, known for his versatility, developed the Hugh O'Brien Acting Awards competition in 1964 at the University of California, Los Angeles, with cash awards given to acting talents. In the 1965 film In Harm's Way, the actor made an uncredited appearance as the USAAF major having an affair with Liz Eddington prior to the Pearl Harbor attack. Despite being a well-known actor by then, he went unbilled at his own request. Understanding the importance of making a vivid impression in just a few minutes of screen time, the actor agreed to do it, not for his usual salary, but in return for a large donation to a charity he supported. Director Otto Preminger felt that a strong actor was required to make the role memorable, especially as Barbara Bouchett, playing Eddington, was an inexperienced actress at the start of her Hollywood career. The actor, Hugh O'Brien, was known for his dedication to philanthropy and community service, which extended beyond his professional life. He was passionate about youth development and education, which he believed were crucial to building a better future. In 1958, he established the Hugh O'Brien Youth Leadership Foundation, an organization that aims to inspire and develop young leaders. 
The foundation has impacted over 500,000 students to date, providing them with leadership training and opportunities to serve their communities. Colby's mission was deeply personal to O'Brien, who believed that investing in young people was the key to creating positive change. He once said, The most important thing I've ever done is establish the Hugh O'Brien Youth Leadership Foundation. It's not just my legacy, it's my life's work. O'Brien's commitment to Hobie was unwavering, and he remained actively involved in the organization until his passing in 2016. In addition to his work with Hobie, O'Brien was also involved in other philanthropic efforts. He was a longtime supporter of the Boy Scouts of America, serving as a national spokesperson and receiving numerous awards for his service. He was also involved in various environmental causes, including the National Park Foundation and the Wildlife Conservation Society. O'Brien's personal values and interests were deeply intertwined with his professional work. He often chose roles that reflected his commitment to social justice and community service. For example, in the film Ten Little Indians, he played a detective investigating a series of murders at a remote mansion. Despite the dark subject matter, O'Brien brought a sense of justice and morality to the character, reflecting his own values. In the show Wyatt Earp, O'Brien played the iconic lawman, a role that allowed him to explore themes of justice, leadership, and community. O'Brien's portrayal of Earp was grounded in his own beliefs and values, and he brought a sense of authenticity and integrity to the character. O'Brien's philanthropic efforts and personal values were a testament to his belief in the power of service and community. He once said, if you can help someone, then you should. It's as simple as that. O'Brien's life and work were a reflection of this philosophy, and his legacy continues to inspire and impact young people around the world. After portraying Wyatt Earp in the film alias Jesse James, the actor found himself surrounded by famous faces of TV and screen westerns. Among them were Ward Bond, James Arnaz, Roy Rogers, Fess Parker, Gail Davis, Gary Cooper, Jay Silverheels, and even Bing Crosby. The actor's talent wasn't limited to the big screen. He also graced the stage in plays like The Front Page and The Iceman Cometh. In the film The Shootist, the actor played Pulford, delivering a memorable performance. Although he appeared in In Harm's Way alongside John Wayne, their characters never crossed paths. In total, the actor's career spanned over six decades, leaving an indelible mark on the industry. His contributions continue to be cherished by audiences and industry professionals alike. Looking back at actors' legacy within the industry, it's clear that he has left a lasting impact on audiences and fellow professionals alike. As he envisions his future contributions, actor remains committed to pushing boundaries and exploring new avenues in his craft. His advice for aspiring professionals is simple yet profound stay true to yourself, work hard, and never stop learning. With dedication and perseverance, actor believes that anyone can achieve their dreams in the entertainment industry. After a successful career, the actor was coming out of retirement for the film Old Soldiers, where he would share the screen with Mickey Rooney and James Best. In The Shootist, he played the character of Pulford, who was originally a car dealer in the novel, but was given more prominence in the movie. His gunfight with a patron, depicted as happening after the main character arrives in town, actually occurred much earlier in the book. Interestingly, the actor had a small role in In Harm's Way, which starred John Wayne, but they did not share any scenes together. Despite this, the actor's career was marked by his ability to leave a lasting impression on audiences, even in smaller roles. His contributions to the world of film and television continue to be appreciated by audiences today. After serving in World War II, the actor decided to pursue a career in Hollywood. In 1955, he gained fame for his portrayal of Wyatt Earp in the show The Life and Legend of Wyatt Earp, which left a significant mark on the Western genre. The actor's passion and innovation led him to take on more challenging roles in films like The Shootist and Game of Death. Throughout his career, the actor demonstrated his versatility and commitment to his craft. He founded the Hugh O'Brien Youth Leadership Foundation, which has impacted the lives of countless young people. The actor's enduring impact on the entertainment industry and his contributions to society serve as a testament to the power of creativity and perseverance. Indeed, the actor's journey is a shining example of how one person can make a difference in the world. His passion for storytelling and his dedication to making a positive impact on society continue to resonate with audiences today. It's a reminder that with hard work 
and determination, we can all leave our own indelible mark on the world. Furthermore, we invite you to share your thoughts on actor's work and legacy in the comments below. Your engagement, likes, shares, and subscriptions help us create more content celebrating the creative spirits shaping entertainment.